when I start these days, mm -hmm. when I start a painting, I will have a vague plan, mm -hmm. which inevitably with the first splatter of paint on the canvas gets tossed out of the window because, you know, while you're imagining, you can imagine a hundred things, but I'm not a person who's very organized and planned and methodical. I like to just do what my hands feel like doing. So these days, what I'm doing is I, I sort of let the canvas and the colors that I lay down speak to. Mm -hmm. So I'm starting with a spat of some sort and um, I let that lead the composition. So I can never predict whether a paint, what a painting is going to look like at the end of it. If I'm being truly um, intuitive to the process, whereas if a commission comes my way, I would think like if a, if a person says I want a painting that's along these lines, then that's a direction that I will adhere to and I will paint differently. But if I'm left to my own devices, I go nuts and I um, start in this um, very spontaneous, intuitive manner and I let that guide me to the next step. I'm like, okay, this is a big dark splat diagonally running across the painting. That's how that painting started. And from there, I was like, okay, this is going to be a tropical painting. I'm, I'm into the tropical motives now. So all, everything is, you know, running to my time state, uh, my home. I come from Kerala and I spent nine years in Kerala. So it's, it's taking me back to days when I was in college and uh, late school. And I'm thinking back to those times and bringing in those motives. And as I said earlier, I don't like using representational colors. I have an aversion towards it. So that is something that started when I began professionally painting and it is continuing to this day. I, I am very unhappy if a leaf is green. So I take, go to the extreme opposite, which is usually like a blue or, you know, uh, a color that you generally don't find in nature. And from there, sometimes I work backwards and I, these days I am putting in a little bit of green and things like that to make things more balanced. I think I'm a little more mature with my color selection now. Um, and I'm using neons these days, which is really exciting to me because it lifts and gives this kind of a glow to the work, which sometimes doesn't get captured well on camera, but is really nice to visually see in person. Um, so these are all breakthroughs that have happened during COVID. And this shift has been wonderful. And even that intuitive way of just composing as you go along is something that I was very terrified to do earlier. I needed a pre-planned composition when I was doing things like this. Um, and I'm very happy that I've break, broken out of that, that mindset, that kind of self-limiting belief that, you know, you can't, um, you can't compose, you know, I can compose, I can do it fairly well now and I'm getting better and better every time I'm painting. So, so, so that's, that's how I do it. I just intuit from stage to stage and let my instincts take over, really. Fantastic. fantastic. This is how